Here we are at the QNECT homepage. If you click on products, you'll see a bunch of applications, QNECT Backup, QNECT Restore, Copy, SQL, Razor, that are free to licensees of QNECT ODBC for QuickBase. We're talking today about QNECT Restore, but QNECT Restore is really a companion application to QNECT Backup. QNECT Restore is designed to take the CSV files that QNECT Backup makes and put them back into the table where they came from. QNECT Backup creates a .fids file that helps QNECT Restore know where to put the data, which columns to map to. There's a pair of files that QNECT Backup makes for each table. To install QNECT Restore, you're first going to have to get a hold of QNECT ODBC for QuickBase and do that installation. Then you can come back here and click on this button to install QNECT Restore. This is what QNECT Restore looks like after you've launched it. First you want to put in your QuickBase username here. Once you've done that, you're going to want to choose either a, a QuickBase password or QuickBase user token. If your organization uses single sign-on with QuickBase, then you must use a user token and not a password. QuickBase user tokens can be had by going up here, clicking on My Preferences, and then scrolling down to Manage My User Tokens. I already have three of them here, but you may not see any if this is the first time you visited this page. To create a user token, click on the button in the upper right corner, give it a name, and then select up to 20 different applications that you would like to associate with this user token. Then click Save, and your user token can be copied to the clipboard, like this. Once you have your user token on the clipboard, you can paste it here. The next thing we need is the QuickBase server. Any QuickBase page will have in the URL the QuickBase server. That's this portion of the URL right here, right after https colon forward slash forward slash and before the next forward slash. And you can see that that's the case on every page. So you want to copy this to the clipboard and paste it right here. Next we have to choose between importing a single CSV file or a whole folder full of files. Let's start with the single file. We can open up the file dialog by clicking here and we're going to choose the projects table in the AAA project manager. Then we have to choose the corresponding table in QuickBase which is projects. QNECT to Restore does the field mapping automatically based on the .fids file that QNECT Backup has created. Now you can add criteria so that you don't necessarily import all the records that are in the CSV file. Let's take priority and set that equal to high. Now we can preview which rows will be imported. As you can see, out of the 26 lines in the CSV file, the 26 projects, only five records have a priority of high. Okay, now that we've previewed, we can press the import button and start the import. When we're finished, we get a little dialog like this and we're good to go. Now let's switch gears and import a whole folder's worth of CSV files. We click here to choose the folder. I'm going to pick AAA Project Manager, and then we just press this button here. The import will happen across all the CSV files. You have no opportunity to select which records are imported or to do any field mapping. It's all done automatically. The advantage here is that child records will be relinked back to their parent records. When it's done, you get a little dialog like this, and you click OK, and you've imported six tables with one click of a button.